Hello everyone. Lenovo has just released three new drivers for the Legion Go on their official China website, including the AMD chipset driver, AMD VGA driver, and Lenovo power management driver. I'll leave a link in the comment section to make it easier for you to access the website. You can then translate the website to English for easier understanding. Today, I will download and install all three new drivers to check which version of AMD Adrenaline we get and how it performs in games. After finishing downloading all three new drivers, I went to the download folder and sent all three drivers to the desktop to make installation easier. Now, before installing the new drivers, including the VGA driver, I need to use DDU to uninstall my older drivers to ensure the new ones install properly without any issues. I will also leave a link in the description on how to do it. Now, I just finished using DDU to uninstall the old driver. As you can see, the AMD Adrenaline software is gone. Now let's start the installation process. First, I will install the new AMD chipset and power management drivers before installing the VGA driver. After finishing the installation of the AMD chipset and power management drivers, I will now begin installing the VGA drivers. After finishing the installation of the stock VGA driver, you need to download the AMD Adrenaline software from the Microsoft Store. Searching for it in the store might not yield results, so I will include a link in the description for easier access. So here it is. This is the newest version of the stock driver, 24.1030, which has already been released for five months. Therefore, the new stock driver is based on the version that was released five months ago, and it does not include AFMF2 yet. Now, let's take a closer look at this new stock driver. First, go to Settings. Under the Display section, you will see the new options for GPU scaling, scaling mode, and integer scaling. As I remember, the old version of the stock driver didn't have these options. This means we are one step closer to having AFMF2 implemented with a stock driver. Now that we are here, so let's get the best settings for playing demanding games with stock driver, I will set resolution to 800p. So to avoid blurriness in game, I enable GPU scaling, integer scaling, and set it to full panel. For per game settings, I left AFMF1 disabled since it doesn't work with the Legion Go's native portrait screen. I turned on Radeon anti-lag, enabled integer scaling, and set it to full panel. I also turned on Radeon image sharpening and set the sharpness to 90%. I set texture filtering quality to performance, enabled surface optimization, and set tessellation mode to override at 2x. For the Legion settings, I set it to performance mode, TDP at 25 watts, OS power to efficiency, display resolution to 1280 by 800 at 144 hertz, and VRAM to auto. I'm injured. I need your help. Uh-oh. Spotted.
Since the stock driver doesn't support AFMF 2 frame generation, now I test it with lossless scaling instead by setting the display resolution to 1200p. For lossless scaling, I set the scaling type to off since I already set the game to 1200p, so I don't need any extra scaling. I set frame generation to LSFG 2.3 at X2, and I set the resolution scale to 70% with performance mode enabled. I set sync mode to off to allow tearing, and set the max frame latency to 3. In AMD Adrenaline software, I turn off GPU scaling and integer scaling. At 1200p resolution, you don't need any scaling. Yeah. 